Wednesday. Wednesday to the dies Wednesday. Wednesday break my heart. Wednesday morning. Wednesday happy days. Wednesday. Wednesday stay in bed. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. The cast of Ghostbusters reunited for a good cause on Josh Gad's Reunited Apart YouTube show. To raise funds for the Equal Justice Initiative, Gad hosted the stars of the 1984 hit film, including Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Sigourney Weaver, Ernie Hudson, and Annie Potts. Director Ivan Reitman also joined, along with his son, Jason Reitman, who wrote and directed Ghostbusters Afterlife, scheduled for release next year. Gad revealed on Instagram that the reunion raised $130,000 and counting for the Equal Justice Initiative. The Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, otherwise known as CHAZ or CHOP, was established by George Floyd protesters after the Seattle Police Department vacated its East Precinct building on the site. Over the past week, organizers have created a community garden, painted murals, opened free co-op grocery stores, all in an effort to push the message of Black Lives Matter forward. It's time for things I've learned from movies. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path. And that will make all the difference. I was lucky. I found what I love to do early in life, when I was 20. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again, less sure about everything. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. And that's it for Things I've Learned From Movies. In a speech yesterday, Trump said there was an AIDS vaccine. There is no AIDS vaccine. All those people suffering from windmill cancer are really depressed today. A new and unflattering book about Melania Trump refers to her as a gold digger. Wow, I never imagined she could be that way, said no one ever. Another study has concluded that chocolate is good for the heart. So in case of an emergency, please place a bunch of chocolate chips under my tongue. Summer begins Saturday. Doctors recommend using sunblock with a protection factor of 300. It's also bulletproof. By the way, here's an interesting fact. The core of the sun is thought to be around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, which coincidentally is the exact temperature reached inside your car when left in the Walmart parking lot for an hour. A new investigation by U.S. Today found people were never at risk of a severe meat shortage. Now what am I going to do with a basement full of jerky? Time for Nobody Gives a Airlines are planning to restrict alcohol sales during flights, so please get drunk and belligerent before getting on board. Hey, JetBlue, nobody gives a f***. New study finds that discounting of cigarettes by the tobacco industry is linked to higher cigarette consumption. Also, sharper knives cause more cuts. Hey, stupid studies. Nobody gives a f***. And NASA says that the International Space Station is getting a new toilet this year. The astronaut litter box was not a real big success. Hey, space cats. Nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.